As far as students who come to the hospice uh, beyond their own needs, that is uh, certain hours that they are required to do uh, practical work, they really help us a lot and uh, they do help in all the daily activities. They support our nurses and uh, nursing assistants. For example, they help them with uh, feeding, uh, changing. It could be like um, simple uh, care services that each child uh, requires. So basically whatever they require throughout the day, students depending on their abilities. We're very careful. Uh, with uh, changing different stomas, for example. So it depends if they are already fit, if they had certain practical work in these directions, we allow them to do that as well. I'm involved in social activity program for almost a month. This is uh, the kind of job that I do after the university. And for me, the main is to help this uh, like amazing stuff to take care of these amazing children. It involves the uh, sanation apparatus. It also should, I should take care of the children, make them feel comfortable with the books, help with the feeding, because most of them has the nasogastric tube and they need special feeding, and also help with that one. If they need any other kind of help, will it be with the bathing or any kind of entertainment, I am willingly uh, helpful with them and we help not only the children but also their parents to feel more comfortable and be as happy as possible. It is very really interesting but also it is very upsetting to see like you know very small kids going through so much and some of them they have no motor activity or some of them are not even able to speak at all. So considering all that, it is very hard to see them going through that, but I'm actually uh, very grateful to be able to help them as much as I can. I think it's one of the most important um, acts you can do, especially, you know, volunteering is very important. And the volunteering at a place like a hospice, you get to learn a lot of diseases that you wouldn't normally see at the hospitals. You get to take care of the patients firsthand, way more than you would at a hospital, because at the hospital there's usually a lot of other people and you just go and see the, see the patient and get out. But over here you're first hand helping the patient and I think it's something every medical student should do um, to experience it and I think it's a, it's a really noble thing to do as well. It's been a month since I've been here. I've learned a lot, a lot of rare genetic diseases and seeing um, one of the first hospices in Georgia trying to promote awareness with the people, um, caring about the diseases from the parents it's got me a lot of insight into um, this field and I guess we should promote it more, especially in a country like Georgia where this is not well known. With the physician we can discuss some of the patient's disorders because here we have exposure to the very weird genetic disorders and those genetic disorders sometimes are the first cases in Georgia which are very interesting and mm, almost none of the physicians have uh, any exposure to it so uh, this gives us ability to expose ourselves to these disorders, read about it. We also uh, talk to the family members of, of the patient mostly the mothers and we see how the whole process went since the birth and how can we help with the management also how can we help with the family members to cope with the disease and the progression of the disease and uh, unfortunately they are in the hospice we uh, often encounter many of the terminally ill patients and uh, it's important to know that besides knowing the pathogen pathogenesis of the disease you should also uh, know the emotions and what the family is going through and you should always have the empathy to support the family. When I came here I was kind of afraid uh, and struggling how I would manage the situation but when I met them I realized that they were one of the cutest people and curious kids I've met in my life and when we were reading books and they had this smile that's when you understand how the princess kissed the frog and became a prince it was one of the most beautiful moments in the hospice when we were walking through the corridor and one of them like somehow asked me to run with a wheelchair because they like the speed of the wind. I think that I made really good choice to go to these social activities and even though the hours are not that long, I'm really willing to continue the uh, helping them as much as I could and I'm uh, willing to learn even more uh, what can I do in the hospice. Volunteering for the hospice uh, requires a lot of input from hospice staff, uh, preparing volunteers, because it's a very specific environment and uh, 
they have to be specifically trained, but not all of them can emotionally stay here. So when I say that it's pretty difficult, that's a difficulty, you put a lot of resources and then you don't really, you don't always get uh, back the input. But in this case, because the students, most of them uh, are medical students, so it's uh, easier to work with them and I do hope that some of them in the future will come back to the hospice once they are professionals and they give us certain hours on volunteering basis. So I do think that this kind of cooperation between hospice and medical institutions is uh, very, very important for us because one is uh, financial support and the other one is uh, just a human, human support that we need.